buying car insurance is never a fun ordeal, but with knowing what you need beforehand, it can make it that much easier. Each state has their own laws concerning minimum car insurance, so always make sure you are getting enough coverage when you move to another state. Never assume that the coverage you have is good enough to meet another state's insurance requirements. In the state of Texas, the car insurance requirement is a minimum of 30-60-25. Don't know what this means? Don't worry, I'll explain. Coverage is usually displayed this way to show the basic coverage amounts relatively quickly instead of trying to look in different parts of the policy. The first number, 30, means that you have $30,000 in coverage to pay for medical expenses for each person injured in an accident. The 60 means the maximum the insurance will pay out is a total of $60,000 for all injured in an accident. Lastly, the 25 stands for $25,000 in coverage to pay for damage and repairs to vehicles involved in the accident. Please take note that these coverages should only take place if you are found at fault for an accident. If you are not at fault, it is the other driver's insurance you should be concerned about. Texas car insurance laws are very strict when it comes to minimum insurance requirements. Up to 20% of drivers in Texas may be driving with no insurance at any time. Because of the large amount of drivers that have no insurance, Texas had to take a hard stance against those who do not have the minimum car insurance. With different state agencies working together, they have created Texas Sure. This enables law enforcement to check and see if the insurance card given is up to date and valid. When caught driving without insurance, the first penalty can be a fine between $175 and $350. For those who still do not think it is necessary to carry insurance, and get caught again, the penalty is much steeper the second time. With a second offense, you can expect a fine up to $1,000. Have your vehicle impounded for up to 180 days, and have your license suspended. The cost of not having insurance can be much greater, though. If you are at fault when involved in an accident, you can personally be held responsible for all monetary damages. This means that you could be held responsible for the damage to the other's car as well as their hospital bills if injured. If you do not have the money on hand to pay for everything, then you can be sued and have your wages garnished until the debt is paid in full. It is wise to see what requirements there are when arriving in a new state when it comes to car insurance, and Texas is no different. Just make sure to talk to your insurance agent, broker when you move and make sure your policy has at least the minimum coverage to avoid any trouble. A great resource for all questions related to Texas car insurance is TexasCarInsuranceGroup.com. I write about many more subjects pertaining to car insurance in Texas and show what information can help you, as well as what you should know when shopping for car insurance in Texas. Share this video and subscribe for more interesting auto insurance tips.